guys, it's April, so today I'm going to show you how to get this Psych Out for Murder look, which is really just a pretty pale pinky nude um, cut crease eye with a very exaggerated twiggy eyelashes on the bottom and everything else is just very pale and, and pretty. Um, so usually when I do uh, any of my looks, I, I've seen the films before, so I kind of have a good idea of what's, what's going on. I have yet to see this film, so um, if anybody wants to like leave me a link to it. You can uh, DM me. That'd be really cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, I will show you how to get this look. Um, I looked at plenty of pictures, super easy, and pretty cute if you ask me. Um, but yeah, let's just get on with the tutorial. Okay, so I am taking my Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation in the color 200 Soft Beige. And with a damp Real Techniques Beauty Blender, I am just applying that all over my face so we have a nice canvas to work on. Now I'm taking my Benefit 3D Brow Tones in number 4 and just applying that and running that through my eyebrows for a little bit more definition. Next I am taking my Benefit Highbrow in the color Linen Pink and with my Delium Tool 714 uh, Flat Concealer Brush I am just loading up product onto my brush and I'm using that to kind of trace a line underneath my eyebrow just to get a nice crisp clean eyebrow and be sure to blend it out really well with your brush or a ring finger. Now with that same brush, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics 10 Concealer Palette, picking up a few colors that match my skin tone, and this time I'm tracing right above my eyebrow, and I am using the brush not only to blend in the color, but I'm also using um, a beauty blender to kind of help assist, if you know what I mean. Now I'm taking my Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base and just applying that onto my lids and blending it out. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and I'm picking up the color Stark which is a nice pinky nudie beige color and with my Delium 785 brush which is a uh, blending crease brush I'm just applying that into the crease blending it well making sure everything looks smooth. Now I am taking my like NYX trio and the colors that I'm using from this trio are um, Beanie and Red Bean, which are kind of like a purpley mauve color. Now with a little pencil brush, I'm going to go back in with the color Beanie and just intensify that crease color a little bit more. And make sure you blend everything out well. Now I'm taking an angled shader brush and picking up some of my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in the color 011 Creamy Natural and just applying that to my brow bone. I'm going back in with that Essence Eyeshadow Base and I'm using that to cut out my crease but you could also use a concealer or whatever you have. And now I'm going back in, or well, I'm tapping the color in with my finger first, but I'm also going to go back in with my concealer brush and just kind of assist the process if you will. Now with a little bit of the color Stark from that Gwen Stefani palette and a little bit of the color Skimp, I'm just going to go ahead and use my ring finger and tap that onto my eyelids. And I'm going to take a little bit of the color Anaheim, which is a cool toned brown, and I'm going to go ahead and just like intensify the crease a little bit more. Now with my NYC Look Good Eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply a very thin line to my top lash line, and I'm going to extend the eyeliner downwards so you kind of get that droopy bedroom eye look. 
Now with that pencil brush and back with the color Beanie, I'm going to go ahead and smudge that onto my bottom lash line, blending it out really well. Now I'm taking my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Infinite Mascara in black and applying heaps of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Don't be afraid to get a little spidery folks, it's definitely all part of the look. And what would a 60s look be without some false eyelashes? The pair that I'm wearing here are the Cara Lashes in number 48, and I think the Red Cherries in 48 would be the same thing. And I'm just applying that to my top lashes. I'm taking my Cara Lashes in Flare Medium and in the color black, and I'm applying these to my bottom lash line sparingly. And um, yeah, the placement gets a little tricky, but once you get a few down, everything else will be a little bit easier. Now with a small powder brush, I'm just taking some loose translucent powder and applying that all over my face just to mattify things up a bit. Now with a kabuki brush, I'm going in with Max uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color medium dark and just kind of contouring the parameters of my face. And I'm going in with a smaller contour brush and just going down the sides of my nose for a little more definition. Now I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Blush Palette and I'm picking up a pinky peach color and just applying that onto the apples of my cheeks, a little bit underneath my nose, chin, and on my forehead. Now I'm going in with this Wet n Wild lipstick. I don't remember what line it's from, but the color is called Bear It All, but any kind of nude peachy pink lip will do. Now I'm going in with another Wet n Wild product and this is the Wet n Wild Glossy Gloss Lip Gel in the color This Too Shall Glass. And I'm just using a little bit just to add a little bit of shine to the lip but of course this is optional. And this is it for the completed look. Now we're going to spend a couple of seconds watching me be really narcissistic so yeah, enjoy that. This is it for the completed Psych Out for Murder look. It's super easy, not too complicated. There's not a lot of elements to it, but it still looks really put together. But um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And as always, I will list, uh, leave a list of all the products used down below in the description box. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.